This is possibly going to be a peebs video. Yeah, All right, chill out, please. Working, Jesus <laughs> Christ, man. <laughs> it's possible that it'll be insanely embarrassing. Go be you, Venoshock, please. I want you to Venoshock him now. Splooge your purple goo on him. What is? Good job, what is? Me. What is he okay, doing? So impression of what the. Is happening and jesus christ and then i won't want to upload it but <laughs> we'll see hey everybody welcome back to the peebs channel today we're gonna do something that i've never done before it was brought to my attention on my discord server by user super nerd azzy that someone on youtube specifically someone who goes by yawn but the youtube channel is pokemon challenges this is a verified youtube channel this is an actual youtuber who did a reaction to my my Nuzlocke back from, what year was it, Chet? 2015? It was about seven years ago. I did an Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke on my currently defunct PVG gameplay channel. I'm not just saying this because I like am hyping myself up or anything. I don't think it even had that much to do with me as much as the things that happened in the Nuzlocke. I honestly think it's one of the better Nuzlocke's on YouTube that I have seen. Just because it was nuts. Like the amount of crazy lucky things that happened and the ending and everything. I don't know. It, it was tons of fun. I had so much fun doing it. I did make a lot of mistakes though because i'm a total pokemon amateur so i'm a little bit nervous about how this is gonna go let's go ahead and check it out so i've done a lot of nuzlocke reviews on youtube in the past couple years and you guys were sending me this run from someone called peanut butter gamer that i should review who did a nuzlocke of That's alpha sapphire <coughs> from someone game. called peanut butter gamer so yeah you don't know who i am what the heck there's 13 hours of the footage of this on youtube but me and my editors have took the liberty of cutting that down to the most important moments i am here are you okay my first complaint, he's gonna review my Nuzlocke, but he didn't watch all 84 hours of it? Well, this is this not gonna be accurate. So if he criticizes me, it's because he missed a bunch of nuance in the 97 hours of the, of the Nuzlocke. So any criticism he has is actually technically invalid. I'm just throwing that out there. As always, this isn't meant to be a roast of the person playing or an incentive for you guys on them. It's just an educational resource for you. Sure, Jan. So let's dive into <laughs> it. Hello, everybody. I am Peanut Butter Gamer, and welcome to my very first Nuzlocke challenge. Dude, it's 2014 PBG voice. All right, so we got no prior Nuzlocke experience and no prior experience playing this game. So I think this should be a fun one. Peebs within a Peebs, Peebception. Yeah, this is a reaction of a reaction. So we're, we're getting meta. Now I'm officially a real Twitch streamer because I'm reacting to a reaction. Just like Manscaped, the sponsor of today's video, guides you through your shaving. This, is, this video is not sponsored by Manscaped. This video is sponsored by Manscaped. It's not. Actually, Shout no, it isn't. It is. That's right, Manscaped. Can't wait to see Yon roast 2014 peeves. Nah, he... I think he's gonna be so impressed. Sometimes I advocate for not attacking your very first encounter if it's like a level two Pokemon because your catch chance is just really high. You even get 10 Pokeballs in this game. So catching this on full HP is really, really likely. However, another thing to note is that we're playing Gen 6 and starting in Gen 6, critical hits are no longer double damage, but times 1.5 damage. So you're a little bit more lenient in what you can use on enemy Pokemon as well. Okay. <laughs> we are uh, four, we, we literally just started and I can instantly tell this guy knows uh, about 700 99% more about Pokemon than I do. <laughs> My thought process was first Pokemon, punch him one time, boom, and then catch him. And he's like, well, there's actually a 79.3% chance if you uh, use your Pokeball, you actually get 10 Pokeballs in this one versus the other ones where you get five. And you have a chance that there's about 89% chance if you... Uh, are other people having this much thought process in their Nuzlocke? I definitely didn't. All right, that should do Dude, it. it's freaking uh, Zigzam. Yeah. I actually don't even know half of the Pokemon names of the ones that we catch. Like, I don't remember for Zigzas, Zigzagoom. I just think, oh yeah, that Pokemon's name is Zigzam. This is the only time I ever played Alpha Sapphire and I don't really play Pokemon that much. So unless it's like Gen 1, I don't know the names of the Pokemon. So to me, it's not called Zigzagoom. It's literally just Zigzam. Tail is obviously fantastic uh we all know this uh yeah we all know this right chat we all know this <laughs> uh yeah we do uh yeah yeah everybody knows that um that bird is really good everybody knows that sure yawn <laughs> Us uh, professional Nuzlockers know this because it gets the guts ability. You could teach a facade. It's really broken. Uh, you can put, like poison it before yeah. fights. I was going to say that, but I didn't want to like interrupt him. So I let him say it. I let him, like, you know, he's a Pokemon expert, so I don't want to show him up. XP share. Yay. I think I am going to use that. I think the XP share is good. The less grinding, the better. Yeah, I actually, I don't normally like to use the XP shares, but I felt, especially for the sake of the Nuzlocks as a series and like the recording and editing time for Jeff cutting out all the grinding, I was like, let's just go ahead and use the 
XP share. I feel like it makes the experience more user friendly for literally everyone involved. Also, less grinding time for me. I put a lot of time into this Nuzlocke. I mean, this Nuzlocke is part of the reason why I never did one again. It took so long. All right, so we do see that he's playing on switch mode instead of set mode, which, you know what, as a beginner, I could see it. I can see, as if you're just literally learning the game. Switch mode instead of set mode? There's different modes? Yeah, apparently I'm using the beginner mode. You can change that? It gives you the option to switch your Pokemon out? Oh, wait, is that like something you can change in the options? I, just, I didn't even know that. I'm getting bruh. Bruh? That was never a thing when I was a kid playing Pokemon Red on my Game Boy. I didn't know. I mean, maybe it was actually, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that was not a conscious choice. I didn't even know it was a thing. Which okay, chat, be honest. One, if you knew, two, if you didn't. Don't don't lie. It, it's fine. It was close to 50-50, but sure, Jan. No! Like we does not bad. Yeah, I really uh, wanted to Zubat. That. Zubat is my a actual favorite Pokemon. No! Well, that's I killed him. unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> I killed him. I don't remember. I was going to say, I don't remember that guy. It's because I killed him. Yeah, I just love that. That's unfortunate. That's probably a polite way of saying, wow, what an idiot. No! No! Frank! Yeah, was Frank our first death? Like, I guess so. a lot of damage. It's got the huge power ability. No, Frank! I yeah, love... I... <laughs> oh, my God. I love... <laughs> Dude, chat's freaking out about Frank, too. Already, I'm loving the difference between my... Especially, like, my 20, uh, 2014 Let's Play Energy versus uh, this guy who is just... I'm just like... No! Frank! And he's just like... Yeah, that was unfortunate. <laughs> the, the difference between our two energies is cracking me up already. I feel like that's part of the fun of watching this particular Nuzlocke is that I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I'm doing my best. It just wasn't anywhere near good enough. And I'm trying to learn as I go, but I don't really know what I'm doing. So I, I feel like it's an interesting, like, type of Nuzlocke. I feel like a lot of people who do Nuzlocke, they're super big into Pokemon, and I just am not, so. Dumb peeves. Yeah, I mean, that's what that's basically what I'm saying. You can do this, Sixer! You can do this! No! Don't try to... Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. You can do this, Six Ham! You can do it! Nope. <laughs> He's so engaged. Six I love it. I know that Zigzam didn't die there, though. I won't spoil it. I remember Zigzam as being one of the main characters of the Nuzlocke, though. Seems like he's not using any items in battle, which makes these fights a lot more fun a lot more interesting to analyze. Oh yeah, I was big on that. It's like, I could, again, like he said, I chose the amateur choice with the Switch thing. I didn't even, like, I literally didn't even know that you could change that. I thought that, that, that I didn't know that there was multiple, there was two different ways to do the Pokemon switching or whatever. But I did, for the most part, try to do the, like, most hardcore, I was trying to be fair, but I also wanted it to be interesting. Like, what's the point of doing something like a Nuzlocke or even, like, the hardcore series that we, we, we did on PPG Gameplay? Like, what's the point of doing that stuff if you don't go, like, hard with it? Like, it needs to be hard, otherwise the challenge doesn't mean anything. So I was, I, I definitely was certain I did not want items. Because I could just sit there and use potions the entire time. I feel like that would just be an easy win. So what's the point? And I also was very big on not grind. I mean, I did grind. I made sure I was, like, level appropriate for what I was doing. But I could just sit there and level up to 100 and just beat everything. But, like, where's the fun in that? So, like, I, I really wanted to win, but I didn't want to give myself, like, crazy advantages to just make it boring i really want to win but at the end of the day it's also a video that's it's like a video series it's supposed to be entertaining i'm trying to entertain people and if like i'm going up against a magnemite that's level 19 and i'm level 35 like i'm gonna win so like that's not fun to watch right yon's rules are grinds to the highest level pokemon of each gym leader so similar idea yeah i don't know if i went like that specific with it but i did try to do what i felt was fair to keep it difficult i would say just switching to ninkata once and switching back is probably better because he's probably going to be magnet bombing the Ninkata. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I have to just kind of like jump in and be real for a second. Is that okay, chat? No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> so let's go back. Let's go back. It's so freaking weird watching someone else seven years later watch my Nuzlocke series and commentate on it with like genuine... Like he's like, this is serious. He's actually doing a reaction. It has 227,000 views. Like this, this is a real Pokemon YouTube channel and he's taking my Nuzlocke seriously. This is so uh, weird to me. Even just this year, I've noticed so many different things because I've been on YouTube for a long time. And you know, I've I've always like, I mean, I've had a decent sized channel for a long time. Even back like when I was like first starting, like obviously like 
like now I have a channel that has 2 million subscribers. Like that's obviously pretty big, but like there's channels with like, like a billion subscribers. So it's not like as big of a deal. But like, even back when I was first starting, my channel was fairly large size, but I was never like big enough that like I was one of the biggest channels on YouTube or anything. It's weird that like all of a sudden I feel like this, like someone reacting to my Pokemon Nuzlocke on Twitter. Like recently there was someone like that was like, if you know this guy, you're goaded or something. And it was just a picture of me. And then so many people were replying to it. And it was nuts to me. I didn't, I didn't like draw any attention to it or anything. I very specifically didn't reply to it or retweet it or anything. And I was just like going through and reading all of that, all of like people like, oh, I know that guy used to watch the videos. Like I recently, I swear I've been seeing so much of that. Like it's so weird to me. It's like really cool and like humbling in a way. But like, just like sitting here watching this guy <laughs> react to my Pokemon Nuzlocke. It's so strange. I don't know how to like, I don't know how to describe Describe this a mixture of super weird, but like super cool I'm really like grateful that someone would even watch my nuzlocke at all much less make an entire like video out of it It's very it's very cool. Does tardy yeah, die here? Really rough. I'm pretty sure he's dead, right? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, no. It's not, even I I can't remember exactly what happened. I knew tardy died at some point, but rip I need to learn how I messed up. I, I think the biggest mistake he took he took two confusion self hits that he didn't need to take So if he would have healed that with a switch instead, um, that probably would have saved him his starter here Hold up if you switch your Pokemon out they lose their confusion <laughs> I didn't I may have known that back then because this was seven freaking years ago. If I knew it, I forgot. <laughs> I, I definitely didn't know that now. I'm gonna go ahead and say I probably knew it back then, right? I knew it. Confusion isn't like burn or poison. You know, I should know how confusion works and how poison works because it's like my favorite type of Pokemon. It's why I like Zubat because I love just screwing with people. I love being annoying and winning while maximizing my own annoyance to the other person. That's like my favorite way to play Pokemon, whether it's the card game or in the video game. I confuse them. They start punching themselves in the face. And while they're punching themselves, I poison them. So I love just like leeching their their damage over. Doesn't Zubat eventually get like leech life even better? Like I love that kind of stuff. I should know how it works, but apparently I don't. Must be fun at parties. I don't poison people at my parties. I don't throw a lot of parties, but if I do, I don't poison people. I talk about Pokemon. I mean, I like to play like Escape from Tarkov, but I don't shoot people with an AK-47 when they come to my parties. I love Among Us because I love lying and gaslighting people in this in in a game. That means I do it in real life too. Oh, Still, is he getting like, baited here? Magnitude seven. Yeah, this is gonna do a lot of damage, buddy. Oh jeez! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Elmo died. He got crit too. Are you kidding me? Elmo, yeah. I'm gonna drop a hot take here, but I don't care about Elmo. I don't care that Elmo died. As far as like my Pokemon that I got in the series, I genuinely care about each and every one of them, except for Elmo. I didn't really care about him. I'm sorry, but it's true. <laughs> what even Pokemon is that? Like electric rhino thing? Like, I don't care about that. He's a stupid looking Pokemon. I am glad that he died. I'm glad that he died. Yeah, Pokemon. All right, chill oh, out, man, please. Jesus out? Christ, man. <laughs> All right, Pokemon. Oh, yeah, one of these guys. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. I have to watch that again. Yeah, Pokemon. All right, chill <laughs> out, please. <laughs> Jesus oh, Christ, team. man. <laughs> the funniest part about that to me is that the editor kept it in. I wonder what the editor cut out. The editor's probably some bits that the editor's like, okay, let me cut that out. That one he left in though, so that means there were worse ones. Oh, you're dead as fuck, bro. <laughs> Oh, it's Drunky McPanda. Oh, it's a drunk bear. Okay, go <laughs> Reptile. Let's that is what Spinda is. Yeah, that's not even like yeah, clever commentary. That's just pointing out reality. Yeah. This is clearly a bear yeah, that is just drunk. That's they're like, what could our next Pokemon be? What if there was a bear who was an alcoholic? Shit. Oh damn, he got fucking owned. Yeah, Holy shit. Yeah, Rosalia's oh, defense is not Why? good. Rupto? And okay, I, you know what? I have to make an apology here. Dear Elmo, I'm sorry I said you were the Pokemon I cared the least about. Because obviously, that was Rupto. I can't believe I disrespected you. <laughs> Just some yeah. random Gyarados. Yeah, Gyarados has a lot of attack, buddy. Nobody else, grashing, like, he, right? oh yeah, Gyarados has a lot of attack, Dude, buddy. I'm yeah, like, sure anybody knew that. Just, right? Like, anybody knew Gyarados was a, was a powerful Pokemon. Nobody knew that, right? Chat, back me I'm up on this. Lose. 
Oh, oh dude, this situation. Gyarados killed I'm two really Pokemon? Sure this is a tough situation, man. I'm not really sure what I would have done here. <laughs> it's, it's just like... Dude, Lollop! The only way to get out of this is if he hits himself in confusion a bunch. Do? That actually sucks! I hate, like, I'm having to live through this again! Having to live through watching all my friends die a second time! I finally got over the trauma of this, and now I'm reliving it. Who is it? Who is it? Can only uh, ever be Magikarp, which is the best Pokemon in the game. Is he being sarcastic? I don't think so, because, I mean, he turns into Gyarados. I assume he's being serious? I'm actually not I'm not sure if that was a joke. <laughs> Wait, so who just died? Hold on. It was it was a uh, worm poo. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, no. Worm poo died to some random Pokemon that I don't even no, know the name the of. Type chart is what cost us a Pokemon here. Not much more analysis to do. <laughs> yeah. So he's just a total amateur. Not really much I can say. What the fuck? Wait, what did it use? Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't my fault. To die at all. Even he doesn't know how that happened. Oh, is it Slash? Okay. Why no? Jesus. I really wasn't expecting that. That was out of nowhere. I guess he's got level disadvantage and Numble also just kind of sucks. All my <laughs> Pokemon that I've lost right now are like flashing through my head. Wallop. Worm poo. Elmo. Camel. He's got a Gyarados. He'll be fine. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to build up the suspense, you know? I <laughs> just That's actually so funny to me. I actually treated this Nuzlocke, obviously it's not the exact same type of series, but I tried to treat it in a similar way that I treat the hardcore series. Like if Dean dies early in, this, in the series or something, say Dean and McJones, they die like in episode two and three, and it, we're on episode 12. I have to bring it back up every now and then. Like, I'm, I'm a performer. Like, I'm like, guys, remember, oh no, we have to think back on the journey of the characters that, of the characters for the sake of like this kind of thing that died through the series, because it's basically a story. You're telling a story through a Nuzlocke. And that's how I view it. And so I'm like trying to like sell the story, but I love the difference between the two of us. I'm like trying to be entertaining selling a story and he's like analytical. So my my like selling of the story is just like, he's fine. What are, he's fine be fine. It's, it's, the contrast between the two personalities is so funny to me. Better than a lot of water type moves would be here too because the sun is up and everything. I mean, the sun is up? Burns, That's something that matters? Right. Again, maybe I knew this back seven years ago, but I've forgotten it. Do you die to burn? I hope he doesn't die to the burn. I really do. I don't think so you die to it. Doing okay here. Imaginator, please don't die. Six Especially with a level up. He would have been done to it, but I think the level up saved him here. Die. Yes, yeah, level up saved them. Oh, that was close. Damage, if we had lost Maginator there, we would have been screwed. No, this he's is taking not a lot of damage wanted. too. Is no, that no, <laughs> no, Zayzam doesn't die here. No way. I know. Yeah, no, I, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, Do we have four Pokemon burn? here? Holy yeah. oh, crap. Three? <laughs> I just love the, like, the sound, the red screen, and the music. <laughs> <laughs> on the death that we were all literally expecting. <laughs> literally everyone was expecting it except for me. <laughs> He's gonna be pretty useless. Useless. We'll see about that. Very creative name, I know. Seems like a self-fulfilling prophecy to me, because if you think a Pokemon's useless, you never use it and never gets any XP, and then uh, you never get to see its full potential. Kind of sad. Useless, I owe you one. I should have never named you useless. It was, it was... A big fault on my part, I'm sorry. We do end up using useless though, spoiler alert. Ninjask. What is this? Shed it. Sh Wait. This is me trying to read usernames on Twitch. Shedinja. I'm really confused. Read the letters. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so the question is, is he going to be able to use this Pokemon to great effect? Because Shedinja is fucking broken. I personally don't use it. I think it's busted. Yeah, I forget. I'm assuming I read it, read about what it, what Shedinja did in, in the Nuzlocke. I don't remember if I try to use it or not. But it's only busted with complete information. With incomplete information, it becomes pretty fucking trash. Its ability makes only super effective moves hit. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what happens with this Pokemon, honestly. I was trying not to spoil myself too much, but I again, I was trying to do a good balance between like making sure I'm prepared and making sure it's like still challenging for me if that makes sense do i do i actually get this guy yes is he gonna use yes, it finally, he's probably gonna use it good. isn't he i have a new pokemon all right you um, know what he gets to use this <laughs> Yeah, I get to use it. Baby Pokemon player gets to use LaFonda. It's fair, all right? I'm assuming a pro would not use, uh, I don't even know the name of this Pokemon to me. It's LaFonda. Oh. Wait, what? No, Why that's, did keep? No! that's just no! unfortunate, isn't it, chat? That was, that was gonna be the, that was my hope for this fight. 
That was gonna completely take out her Alteria. Apparently I had a plan. That's, that's I had a plan, it sounded like. I don't know what my plan was, but apparently it didn't work because of Pursuit. Okay, again, like I have bare, like this is the most I had played Pokemon in my life, except for when I was a kid. I played a lot when I was a kid. I was basically the Pokemon expert in my third to fifth grade class. But then I kind of fell off Pokemon and I, I th but yeah, th this is by far the most I played was this Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke, except for when I was a kid. So I must have known what the Shedinja did. I didn't know what Pursuit did, I guess. That's why you read the comments. Oof, comments are rough on Nuzlocke's. If you're a scrub, it was definitely not the reason. The, the main reason was how much time it took to make the Nuzlocke and how long the series was. Cause you know, I, especially on the gameplay channel, just like being slightly real here, we didn't mind doing some long series, but it was always kind of hard when we had a really long series going. Cause then it's like, we have to dedicate so many videos to doing this insanely long series. And we can only do so many videos, especially back then. I mean, Jeff was doing his main channel. I was also doing my main channel and we were both collaborating on this gameplay channel. So there's only so many, so much time and effort we could spend on videos. So we had to dedicate a lot of time to this Nuzlocke. And that was a little bit hard from like a production standpoint, a production, I mean, it's a let's play, but you know, it took a lot of time. That was the main reason we didn't do it. But there was definitely a lot of negative comments. Pokemon fans would get freaking pissed when I made a mistake. Like, you know, I make a mistake and like, oh, this time, obviously steel is strong against this type. They would be like, how did you not know that? And it's like, I'm sorry, I just screwed up. People would get so mad. So that, it was not the reason that we, that I, I didn't do like Nuzlocke's after that, but it was a very small, it was a small part of why. It's like avoiding the Pokemon comments. <laughs> I was so like dealing with people being mad about my mistakes in Pokemon, even though I specifically said, I'm a scrub. I don't know that much about Pokemon. I'm trying my best. Most people were fine, but you know, the loudest people are the ones that are mad usually with that kind of thing. That was gonna be the, that was my hope for this fight. That was gonna completely take out her Alteria. Oh, he even planned. True, Shedinja does even wall the Altaria. He had a plan with it too. He was using it really well. He just didn't know about the move Pursuit. Dude, I got props. I got a little bit of props. He recognized I had a plan. Apparently I did have a plan. Okay, so I think leaving the gloom in against the two psychic types here, I would probably label that as a mistake. Mistake. Uh-oh. Making a You're mistake, dead, right? Oh! Yep. Oh, no! Dude, the sound effect and the fucking music and the screen effect. It's just so fucking funny to me. I'm sorry. What was that movie? Just <laughs> Props to Jeff. Absolutely. For the shit. Jeff also edited Hardcore back in the day. Again, like I always kind of considered the Nuzlocke and Hardcore is similar because there's permadeath. And if you're going to do a permadeath content, you need to make each death matter. You need to sell that both as the actor, quote unquote, and in the editing. You have to sell it. Like if someone dies in Hardcore, you just like, whatever. Gerard died, whatever. You want it to matter. It needs to matter to the audience and it needs to matter to you. Which is why, again, I'm going on a little bit of a tangent here. It's why whenever I like would cast the hardcore series, the thing I cared about the most, obviously, you know, it's nice to have like big guests that people know, but the thing I cared about the absolute most was if someone actually wanted to do it. Because if people want to do it, they're actually into it, then they're gonna care if people die. I think there's like a okay. specific reason that we need- Oh, 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 oh. Oh, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, no, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, no! It's important to them, so they can at least pretend that they care, if they don't actually care, they can at least pretend, like that was what was most important. I wanted people who actually wanted to be in it. I look at stuff like this, I'm like trying to entertain people, so I want it to be, you know, you gotta sell it. And Jeff did a really good job with the editing on this, and like using that sound effect, and shing adding the sad music and stuff. That kind of stuff goes a long way with this sort of thing. Psychic is not strong against grass. It's strong against poison though. It is, yeah. He's but learning the type chart. Dude, he's doing this. I'm actually really liking this. Um, It's pretty subtle. We don't notice it throughout the cuts, but hes I feel like he's learning a lot between fights here. You wanna know why I was learning a lot? It's cause people were crapping on me every time I made a mistake. People were letting me hear every mistake I had. So I was like, oh jeez, okay. Oh jeez, okay. I gotta learn this. I don't wanna get yelled at again. And this is something I noticed. When he loses a Pokemon, he's very analytical about it. You can tell that he's a fucking gamer, boys. Okay? Dude, PPG's a gamer confirmed. Finally oh, gets wait, the gold wait, wait. encounter. I just realized this is a new area and I got a gold bat. Nice. <laughs> Yes, B, dude. B. The arrival of B. You are the last token resistance that is trying to ruin my day. So now I will use this gun to shoot you. <laughs> Probably should have done that a while ago. <laughs> Fates of black. We got him, Jeff! We got him! 
We got a laugh out of him. Good job, Jeff. We did it. That's actually real though. During this playthrough, there's so much stuff with that. I forget what they're called. Team Aqua or whatever. And it's like, why don't these guys just kill me? Like I'm a little kid and there's like adults and they're like, oh man, we lost our Pokemon battle. It's like, dude, you're a bad guy. Just kill me. Oh no, dude. I remember it now. I'm getting the memories, the flashbacks. It's coming back to me. Oh God. Believe in you. Flash. Oh God. Six Sound good. Six uh, No! <laughs> really? Why did I believe in you? That kills with a uh, non crit? I actually was not expecting that. I guess Strong Jaw is a pretty good ability, huh? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Zigzam was such a main character, especially if you watch through the whole series, because they have this cut up, obviously. I, again, I was joking at the beginning. Obviously, they can't watch the whole freaking 90 hours of the Let's Play. Props to their editor for chopping this up, because that must have taken a decent amount of time. They're getting most of the important moments. They even left in the gun, <laughs> the freaking gun edit. Props, they, they must have actually been watching this. I don't know who the editor of this channel is, but they must have actually watched a decent amount of this Nuzlocke, so props to them. But yeah, like, if you watch the whole thing, Zigzam is, like, one of, by far one of the main characters, and he carries us through some serious stuff, so I was pretty dang bummed about losing him. Surprise! His editor's also Jeff. Yeah, Jeff is editing this guy, I just, I didn't even know it. Me and Jeff talk all the time, he never what mentioned it. What is happening? Wait, hold on, what's that? What is happening? <laughs> We're about to get told to calm down again, aren't we? Go, be you, Venoshock, please! I want you to Venoshock him now! Splooge your purple goo onto him! What is Good job, what is what is he okay, doing so impression of? What the a, fuck is happening? There's no impression. Jesus Christ! I'll answer your question, uh, Jan. You want to know what's happening? Uh, I've been recording this. We're probably like 55 hours into the recording of this at this point, so I'm going a little bit nuts. And <laughs> oh, no. fuck, no, he's dead to crit, and it's one in eight oh, to crit. No. Oh, oh geez. he's dead Close. to burn. Yeah. Please don't, please don't burn. Don't affect me. Please let me get him out. Please let me get him no, out. No, he's he's. You're Please gonna take. You're gonna take burn damage. Burn. You're literally dead. There's nothing <laughs> you can do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was trying. You know, I was trying oh, to not accept me. it. I was holding on to hope. I, you know. Oh, look at me! I can, my elbows stick above my head. Damn, yeah, he that's got a real him good. Cool. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Oh my god, this is so good. fun. Ooh, so we're at the Elite Four now. So I've been spending at least the last two days preparing for this, both leveling and okay. trying to get items and All right. And if I recall, I had basically not used Nimnat for the entire series. I must have been down to like five Pokemon, because we caught Nimnat like at the beginning of the series, right? And I didn't really use him much at all, but I guess I was down on Pokemon, so I just went ahead and leveled him up for the Elite Four and filled out our party. But yeah, I mean, like, we had been using Imaginator, Useless, Lars, and LaFonda a lot. I mean, I had B just because I liked Zubat. Zubat's still my favorite Pokemon for the reasons I explained earlier, but I did not really have anything else going. So it's actually pretty nuts to me that Nimnat is in our party at this point at the start of the Elite Four. I knew if I went in at the exact same level as the, like, first Elite Four, I would, there's no way I would have won. So I leveled up a little bit more. Again, I was always trying trying to constantly balance it between making it entertaining, like it's still a challenge, but I still giving myself some chance to win. I was I like through the whole series was kind of like balancing that. He's also got double oh, team no, baton pass, well, which is, I respect that. that. I respect the fuck out of that. Hell yeah. That is so but cheesy. I'm not double team lie. baton pass. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. That's my favorite type of Pokemon moveset. The cheesier, the better crazy how he came back in this run he had like he, he was down like three pokemon on norman <laughs> i guess latias will help huh and so will gyarados but the fact that he has like a pretty strong six pokemon team all the way in the elite four in his first ever nuzlocke in a po in a game that he's playing blind is pretty impressive this what even is like this pokemon i have no idea what, like what this pokemon is here, right? he looks like, so disturbing like you're only getting answer against the I, wall like, rain i hate this I would pokemon. Use the pokemon what is it that get fucked by the wall rain here on the glalie so I, I, I hate him maybe i can one shot him yeah oh, okay. okay oh my god i don't know about this one i don't know about this one yep yep there it is he's basically confirmed it yeah lars is about to die if anything, you um, want to rock slide because well, water resists steel. Use, okay, well, doesn't resist rock. Has a bad hit ratio, but Do what he says. Go for it Pass anyway. me. It's like seventy-five percent chance, I think. Do oh, what wait, he says. He ground, so he's bad again. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I about that. Type. I forgot he was <laughs> about water. that. No, Lars! I can't make it all this way and lose! Tentacruel, no, baby. Tentacruel. No, this isn't gonna happen! Crumpet's Blizzard fine. again. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is it, Yeah, guys. there's- because there's no way I made it with Magnator. Frozen. Frozen. At level- at 25 health. Oh, that's so unlucky. That is, is unlucky. It. 
Just Damn. kill a tentacruel, man. This you can do it. it. Yeah, come on, put out tentacruel, yes. you idiot. Yes. Put out tentacruel, you moron. Yes. All right. Oh, fine. If I lose Imaginator, I'm so dead to the rest of this. All right. Thing, and he avoids the blizzard because Hail subsided. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, you lucked out there. Now uh, you're just Sludge Wave. Sludge Wave. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep, poison him. Good work. Good work past me. I really oh, was yeah. putting poison. effort into this. On, I really die, was die, trying. Die, 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 I really die. cared about this, cool. actually. Nice, nice. Yes! You can uh, you can make a lot of complaints okay. about me. You can say, dude, you need to calm down. That's a valid complaint that he made. But you, what, the, you know the complaint you can't make? I'm sitting here tying my shoe for some reason. You know the complaint you can't make is that I don't care. I care. If I go into something, I care about it. I want to win. I didn't spend like a hundred and whatever hours getting this far into the Nuzlocke. And I'm just like, well, whatever. If I lose, I lose. No, I wanted to win. I really did. Yes! That's pretty impressive. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I looked up what Pokemon they had before I went in. I mean, it makes sense in terms of the lore. If you're like a kid trying to make it through the, uh, try to beat the Elite Four, we would know what Pokemon they had. I mean, you would see them on TV, right? So obviously these people would be famous in this world. So you'd know what Pokemon they had going in. He, uh, he attack. Oh, he has a Thunder Move? He's fucked. No! No, 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 no. I didn't know Salem was a Thunder Fang no. here. That's huge. Yeah, I did not expect that. That was a heavy hit to take. Yeah, you really want to use the dragon move there, buddy. Oh, no, boys. Okay, that did a decent amount of damage. Okay, at least he didn't use Thunder Dude, Dragon Fight Pulse would have killed. That doesn't look good, though. Oh, oh no! He lives. No yes, okay. Well, at least we got this guy down. Oh, give me a break. I'm Come on, me. You got this. This isn't a bad idea. Please poison him. I can't lie. Throughout this entire Nuzlocke, since I... I, I was waiting to get a Zubat. When I got B, I was looking for literally any opportunity I could use him. It's like whenever I could send out Crobat, I was going to send him out. It's just that there wasn't really that many <laughs> opportunities for B to shine when I had Maginator and LaFonda. Meaningful moments for B were minimal, but they did exist. Stay tuned. He used Yawn. Of course, he would have some annoying move like Yawn. Oh All my right. gosh. Out of Hydro Pokes. Are we about to lose useless right now? No, but it's fine here. It can. So I'm oh, he said it was fine. It was fine. <laughs> he said it was fine. I don't see the Hydro Pump, but you do it. Oh, I avoided it, of course. Missed. Why does Keep old Keep sound like Morty? I'll say, I'll say, oh, how about this? <laughs> oh, jeez, Rick. No! No, no, no! no. I didn't know Sal has a better thing here. That's huge. A little bit. All right, hit it. <sighs> Using our last Hydro Pump. Yeah. It, oh, oh. Sturdy, oh, I was like, sturdy. okay, yeah, the sturdy, which keeps him from dying. No, this there is what go. I was worried about. He's fine. He's not going to die to this. No. Yeah. Oh, okay, he's alive. Okay. Oh, you know what? You know what? Dive. <laughs> oh, of course he full restored. Uh oh. Uh oh. He's so cringe. Cringe. He's, he's cringing. The That's, not the That's, no That's not good. There's no fucking good. way. Uh, We're about to lose useless, aren't we? He loses tentacle right. here. He killed me. Yep, How does there he get past this? Uh, There's no fucking yeah. chance, no? He killed me. <laughs> that, that sucked. Useless. Oh, no. You need to break the sturdy first and then hydro uh, pump. I actually love how, like, intense this is. Because, you know, normally when I lose a Pokemon, it's like, no! But, you know, in, when you're in the middle of a battle, if you're, like, in the battle with your friend and George next to you dies, there's no time to mourn George. Because the battle's still going. Okay. George, no! Heck, but we have to keep him. fighting. Is he going to Mega now? For the first time. Am I gonna Mega Evolve? Okay, yeah, he's doing it, he's doing it. Okay, I was kind of nervous there. I'm, what is Mega Evolve? Oh, I, I forget. Mega <laughs> that would be I nice. guess this okay. is good damage. It's probably not gonna do that much though. No, it's fine. Wow! I was mixed. Okay, crit, oh, critical crit, crit. hit! Yeah. Oh my, oh wow. Dude, might... this is nuts. I need to this is LaFonda, Nimnat, and yeah. B well, left. First, I was sweating hard store. when I was yeah, recording cool. this. I, got, I really I was. Sure. I knew at this point, like, if I lost in the final fight, at least I made it to the final fight, so it'll still be cool. Like, you know, I did my best. I made it as far as I could and just lost in the end. But like, oh man, I really wanted to win. But at this point of the fight, I was starting to sweat it. Once I lost Maginator, I was really not sure how it was gonna go. I wasn't really counting on Lars too much, but I, I was, you know, obviously it would have been nice to have kept him alive, but I lost Imaginator and Useless, and I'm like, this is not good. Because, like, LaFonda, obviously, it was our strongest Pokemon, but it's like, if LaFonda dies, it was freaking B and Nimnat, who I, like, never even really used Nimnat. I was not super confident at this point. Nimnat, go! I have a plan. Okay, let's see it. Okay. Let's see it. I'm gonna double yeah, I'm team nervous. Punch. I know what happens, and I'm nervous. Hopefully, I can okay. double team... So I'm doing double team to raise my die. evasiveness. Okay. Yes. Okay. okay. And I'm gonna baton pass. 
Speed right? Boost, I would again, just baton pass the Latios now. Can, dude, baton pass, I remember specifically. I actually did read the comments, even the mean ones. That was in the back of my mind. It was literally YouTube comments telling me about baton pass. If you use baton pass, you transfer whatever status effects you have to the next Pokemon. So I was like, at some point, I'm gonna use that and it's gonna come in clutch. I didn't expect it to come in clutch in the final battle, but... I would I'm just do it now. It's too risky otherwise. Two, one more time after this. Just take the plus one. Okay, good. He okay, too. that's fine too. I would, I would okay, definitely good, pass hey. now. You're dead to the next extra sensory. You Speed have to. Boost up. All right, all right, you have to pass right, now. Nimnet, double team one more time. <laughs> you have to pass now. <laughs> Doesn't pass. I'm just like imagining like me playing that game and he's like a coach. Oh, all right, like, just, you're gonna one wanna, more, you're just one gonna more. Just one more. Okay, we okay, got you. Lock just down one more. Time, just one more. Wanna... Good. But then it all works out. Please work. Don't kill me. This don't is a throw. Me, this is a throw, no, dude. This is a throw. Last time. I no. My oh, oh my god. The damage roll. Two wow. health. Unbelievable. Two but health. That was, I mean, I mean, okay. I've said this before. It is true. When I do my stats, when I was born, my intelligence was low. Low. But my luck maxed out. I was keeping this in mind. I knew this at the time. I knew my intelligence was low, but I kept, I know my, like, my luck is maxed out. So I can hold out one more time. Don't worry about it. It's going to work out. Okay, now you fucking pass. pass. Yeah, good shit, good baton shit. Pass. Oh, yeah, there's, there's that baton, baton pass. Know. So we transferring all this, that evasiveness over to. All his who do I send it to? Got. I don't remember. Dude. How hype. Think, think here, think. Okay, Psychic is good against- You I need to go really to your Latios, bro. Now, and really high dodge chance. I can use X-Scissor, which is good against Psychic. <laughs> no, please go to the Latios <laughs> for fuck's sake. Don't Will worry, Lux maxed out. No. Lux 100, yeah, Lux 100. That, that Intelligence is five. Luck 100. Or okay, not. you could just- Or not. Yeah, he's hurt. Or he's in pain. He really is. Yeah, he's hurt. That's he's hurting. <laughs> you can't use, use this against the fucking Metagross. This will be super effective, I'm sure of it. Oh yeah, because Metagross is, is the last still. Pokemon, right? Yeah, this next X-Scissor kills because the Reflect is gone. X-Scissor! Kill him! This is good content, I will say. Uh, yes! Dodge it, dodge it. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, okay. Man. okay. Yeah, some of you okay. are sharing his reaction here, I'm assuming. Oh, okay. Me, oh no, he had one more Pokemon yeah, before Metagross, too. Oof! Still still Dude! Kicking. No Omnibus? Still okay. B is down to 13 health? Okay, good. That's what is ha fine. How did That's I win this? Really don't want How did I win this? Die. You gotta stay in, dude. It's a- listen, it's a- listen. It's the champion fight. There's no more fights after this. Winning with one Pokemon is just as good as winning with three. Stay in until you die here. And then maybe even try to set up with Ninjask on Metagross. No, I'm gonna have to hard disagree. I'm gonna have to hard disagree. You're thinking too analytically. I'm not just going to leave a Pokemon behind if I don't have to, okay? Literally, as I'm playing this, there's three things revolving in my mind. One, this video needs to be entertaining, obviously. No matter what I'm doing, you know, you gotta make your video entertaining. Two, I wanna win. Those are two very important things happening, but there is a third one also happening. Three, I love my Pokemon. I love them. Some I love more than others, but so B, I don't want to die because I actually care about B. And obviously some Pokemon are gonna have to die. Like I know that we're going into battle. This is a war. Some sacrifices are gonna have to be made, i.e. Zigzam and etc. But I don't want that to happen. I want to keep my Pokemon alive. And so I actually care about that. I actually do. And the fourth thing going in your head is I want pizza. <laughs> now that's after, that's after. I do want pizza, but the pizza Pizza will taste sweeter if we win, right? Winning with one Pokemon is just as good as winning with three. Stay in nope. until you die nope. here. Nope. And then maybe even try to set up with Ninjask on Metagross. This is a professional disagreement. Um, and then use you know, your Latios last. You know what? I might as well just keep rolling with it. Yep. Uh, well, well, apparently I agree. Yep. <laughs> apparently just... all that for me to just agree with what he wanted me to do. <laughs> Come on, B. All right. All right. Come on, B. I yep. assumed that I didn't. Yes. Very nice. And I got him. X scissor! All right, all right, all right, all right. I would have. Okay, so that's evolution. just straight up a misplay. Uh oh. <laughs> you had the double team set up there. Stay in. Why not? Why, <laughs> literally, why not stay in there? Not oh, he's got I don't want to lose B! What a terrible move. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Who no. Lives that? Now just oh, recover. No. Literally, just recover. I've got to Obviously. If blows like this, I'll win. Yep. Are we going to win this, guys? Are we gonna win this? You are gonna win are this. Are we gonna win this? Dragon Balls! That's insane. I'm putting my DS down. Just... Okay, just as long as he doesn't crit. Right? 
Yep. You win. Yes! Yes! Go Dragon Ball! Wait. This is not how I remember it. Dragon What's happening? <laughs> oh, nope. Yep. Okay, there we go. Oh, he's still alive. Dead. I thought he was dead! Dude, the sounds okay, coming fine, out of his fine. mouth. <laughs> <laughs> are so Recover. funny. There's some times when I'm recording stuff like this, and you know, I mean, obviously, again, I'm trying to be entertaining, so I'm like playing it up. Then there's times like this, I'm actually in it. I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna win! <gasps> what? He's not! Like, there, there's a fine line between like trying to play it up and actually caring. It's easier to enter, like, be entertaining if you actually give a crap about it. If you know that he's out of full restores, there, Dragon Pulse is the correct move because now you're risking another crit. Don't die! Don't die! No, he quit me! Punish! He Actually me. punished, but he's he fine. He can finish this with Crobat. Oh, no. Actually punished. It oh. doesn't, this doesn't have bullet punch, does it? Yes. Oh, that was when I thought yes. it's over, dude. Yes! Yes! Okay, I actually think, obviously, again, they had to cut it up because this is gonna be, this was really long. There's some, like, real drama there where I'm, like, sitting there like, what do I do? Dude, I was freaking out. It seems like, oh, I just switch over to B and fix it. I, I guess it makes sense, though, because B has pretty quick speed. He must just have higher speed than Metagross, I guess. But I didn't know for sure. I mean, I knew B was quick, but I mean, this was a freaking, like, the final boss's best Pokemon. So I was not, like, super sure if B was going to be able to get an, get an attack in first. So I was sweating that. I beat him! I can't believe it! Boom! Boom! Wow. It's so fun reliving this this uh, insanely long experience. I unironically did not see this coming. I really didn't think he could win, but it's because I forgot that the fucking Metagross had Giga Impact. <laughs> that was the um, Alpha Sapphire Nuzlocke by Peanut Butter Gamer. Um, great. Honestly, I really enjoyed seeing him learn the game as he went on. That was really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. It was really cool to see that kind of progression in someone. Seeing someone play a game for the first time. Or like this, pretty exciting. He did really well. Bye. That was tons of fun. So thank you again. I'll have his channel linked uh, below. So make sure you go check him out. I've been watching some of his other videos. I didn't want to watch like this one, but I was checking out some of his other stuff just kind of get a gist of what, what we had going here. But yeah, Pokemon challenges on YouTube. Make sure you check him out. That was so much fun. Seriously, thank you for doing that. It was super fun to relive that Pokemon Nuzlocke experience. One of my favorite series that I've really ever done on any of my channels. So thank you so much uh, for doing that and make sure you go check him out. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and check out another one of the videos we got going here. I appreciate you. Peace.